Hey everyone, Alex here again, and today I'd like to do another skill review for the Ranger. As you can see here, I have my Ranger Griffin. He has now reached level 20 and is out in the Crystal Desert. Now, in the Crystal Desert, it's a pretty significant transition in the Prophecy storyline because there's a lot of things that happen here in the Crystal Desert that marks the transition from kind of the growing period in your character to the end game, which is still a lot of content but one of the things is this is where you start to cap your first elite skill uh, for your profession uh, in the three missions in the crystal desert namely alona reach thirsty river and dunes of despair uh, there are forgotten bosses that each have your first elite skill and that's true for all the main six professions other than the monk the monk has one more boss in the desert that can give marker protection. So the monk actually has two elite skills they can cap in the desert. But for the other professions, it's one. And for the ranger, the elite skill that will be your first elite skill, if you start a ranger and you do kind of a vanilla prophecies run, i.e. not bringing in uh, skills from other campaigns or using elite tomes or things like that, the first elite skill you can capture is this one, and that is Marksman's Wager. Marksman's Wager is a very neat skill, but it takes a lot of real human skill to use without suffering its drawbacks. So let's read it real quick. So Marksman Wager, it's an elite preparation and for five energy and a two second preparation time and a 24 second recharge for 18 seconds, which is fixed, you gain in this case nine energy whenever your arrows hit but you lose 10 energy whenever your arrows fail to strike and that is with an expertise of 11. so at 11 expertise i will gain 9 energy each time my arrows hit and i'll lose 10 energy each time i miss so the key thing about the skill is you want to make sure that you are going to hit your target and the reason I say that this takes quite a bit of player skill is because you, as a player, need to recognize when you're going to hit a target and when you're not going to hit a target, while your heroes or the AI are not capable of doing that. So, in this build here, you can see I have Antidote Signet, which will take out one of the big factors of missing, and that is blindness. So, having a counter to blindness is a big thing. Because that is one of the most common ways to make you miss. The thing about Marksman Wager is that there's two neat things about it. And that is, you get a ton of energy. And frankly, you get so much energy that you have an unlimited pool of energy if you're using Ranger skills. The other thing is, because it's in the expertise line, usually you're going to have a very high level of expertise when you use this. And that brings the cost of your skills down so you get like a double benefit if you use a high expertise with this skill and that is you're spending less energy to use that skill regardless of this elite and then you gain energy from it so i mean you can just fire off a lot of very powerful attacks normal attacks that you wouldn't normally be able to do <clears throat> without running your energy pool dry so in this bar here, you can see that I've got uh, about four skills that are uh, around 10 energy each. So uh, Brutal Strike, uh, Savage Shot, Penetrating Attack, and Melandra's Assault are all 10 energy. Now, if I use this on a normal skill bar and I rotate through those skills, uh, I'll run my bar down pretty quickly. But using this Elite Preparation, I have a pretty strong long window to use these strong attacks without having to worry about the energy being uh, depleted and almost doesn't even move at all as long as my attacks hit and they don't miss. So again, as I mentioned before, uh, taking care of blindness is one key aspect. Knowing that there's no obstructions between you and the target is another aspect. Another aspect is being aware of any hexes that can cause you to miss, such as price of failure, reckless haste, um, spirit of shame, things like that. Uh, the fourth one is, and this really takes the real skill, is be able to recognize when your target is using stances and defenses that prevent 
the arrows I'm hitting, either being blocking or missing. So stances such as defensive stance or shield stance, drider's defense, um, whirling defense. Uh, there's a whole slew of them. Uh, watery aura, uh, the distortion from the mesmer, things like that. You got to be be able to recognize, and when they do that, not shoot your arrow at them because odds are you're going to miss and you're going to find your energy be completely gone if you may miss like two or three times and to actually stop attacking at that point until their defenses turn off or you know you can actually get a hit so being able to get rid of uh blindness is a key thing being able to recognize hexes of stances that prevent your arrows from hitting is another key thing and also being able to make sure your arrows can hit uh, the target uh, not obstructed by a piece of environment or something like that. One PVE note is that you can also use the Asuran uh, skill, uh, Asuran scan, that will guarantee a hit. So that works really well with um, Marksman's Wager in this game. I'll put it there. <laughs> with Marksman's Wager. So that works well with that. But again, that's just a PVE uh, specific type of skill, and it's only in Eye of the North. And so in, most, in any other case where you don't have a skill, you don't want to use that skill you have to be able to recognize when your attacks are going to hit and when they're going to miss. The last thing you can do to help make sure that your arrows hit is to increase the arrow velocity. And you can do that either by bringing favorable winds, uh, natural ritual in the marksmanship line, and also making sure you have a good uh, high speed bow, such as a horn bow or a recurve bow. And then, and, uh, and a short bow. You know, things that either bring you closer in range than you normally would and have a high arrow velocity. Basically, any bow that's good for interrupting will be good here with a high speed uh, arrow flight and a low arc. So, things like uh, long bows and flat bows you want to avoid. Uh, not avoid, but just realize it's going to be, it increases the chance of you missing your target because of either the long flight time. Or the the high arc it takes. So, anyways, let's go out and take a look, and we'll see how this works. So again, I got a pet. I got uh, some pretty high cost skills, and uh, we'll you know you'll see how it works when I, when we head outside. Again, I got standard henchies, normal mode, and I'm at uh, level twenty. And here we go. Okay. So it does help to make sure you have your pet window open. And we'll come out here. Now one thing about using Marksman's Wager, sometimes you don't want to apply the preparation and be the first one to fire an arrow because a lot of times when the PVE enemies are coming towards you, they're coming either across your screen, they're going laterally across, and your arrows are going to have a high chance to miss. So sometimes it helps to fire off an arrow, pull them in, and when they're engaged, then do the marksman the wager preparation and then fire away but you know you can hit your target so but here i know there's some doom burls so i can put it right here and they're not going to go too far away huh let me see they were here sometimes they're there okay well we'll take stormkin then so he's stationary so i'm going to hit him there And there we go. So there, I used Hunter Shot and Penetrating Attack. Okay, now preparation's off, but I can put it back on. And here we go. Okay, now we have quite a few of these guys. Oop! Gotta be careful of clumsiness. Yeah, being able to fire off Melandra's Assault a lot is great okay preparation off the thing about the preparation it does not last as long as it's recharged so you're going to have a, about a six second window where you will not have this preparation active you know keeping if you use it recharge it all the time you're not going to have it uh, up all the time but it's up most of the time so again when you come in there's a nice slow moving enemy. I'm using a horn bow. It's actually kind of nice for its penetration, but I can come in. There we go. It's a nice low arc. Boom. 
and use my penetrating attack. And there we go. I'm keeping my distance. Making sure, because these guys like to put dust traps down. Now the thing about preparations, and when you're in the middle of combat, and you're seeing me doing this here, I'm actually not using it. Because when you're down for two seconds, you're not attacking for two seconds. That's one thing about preparation. You know, all preparations, not just marksman's wager. And it's better sometimes to just keep attacking and using your skills, especially when you have a good amount of energy, rather than stopping for two seconds to do a preparation. Again, that's true for Marksman's Wager, or Apply Poison, or uh, let's see, uh, Ignite Arrows, Kindle Arrows, things like that. Okay, so now these guys are stationary, so I can do this ahead of time. And there, okay, I was able to get them. If I had used a longbow, that would have had a chance to miss, actually. And you see, my energy is not even moving. Okay, now it's off. And there we go. And we'll take out this, this group here. Again, I'm... The, it's not a huge pitched battle here. Okay, I'm going to wait. There we go. Okay, now is a good time to use it. Okay. Another one, uh, another skill you can use is uh, Power Shot. If you just want to load up your bar with high cost, high damaging skills. So you can really do a lot of damage. I just want to bring an Interrupt and a Bleeding skill. Uh, just in case Marksman's Wager is down and I'm out of energy. You know, I'm not uh, waiting for everything else. So Let's see. Oh, well, yeah, we'll do one more group. We'll do one, one more on the left here. Again, just just two guys, so this will be pretty straightforward. There we go. Kind of just to interrupt. It's okay. I'm not the best at interrupting. There we go. Okay. So that is Marksman's Wager. It's it's a lot of fun because the reason it's a lot of fun because you can really uh, crank out these high damage skills that you would not normally be able to use in that order or as fast as, as you would like. Uh, in this case, also a pet is nice and I especially like Melandra's Assault. It's got a fast recharge, it's got high energy, and you can just crank this over and over and it has a nice, fairly large AoE actually. Uh, attack. And here we go. Yep, and you see it again. And hits again. And down it goes. Okay. So let's head on back. Go back to Seeker's Passage. So that is the first elite, Marksman's Wager. It's it's pretty useful. I like elites that help with energy management. And because you get a double bonus, because it's in the expertise line, you can open up more options than you normally would. And you can even use things, start to use things like spells that do not benefit from your expertise uh, or uh, primary tribute. And things that might be more expensive for you to use that you would not normally be able to use, you can start to use with the Marksman's Wager because you can regain your energy very, very quickly. And, you know, even though I made it said you, if you miss an arrow, you get a pretty hefty drawback. Well, you can miss one or two because the gain back is very significant. It's when you start to miss three or four that uh, you're going to be in, in trouble. So... 
Uh, so it's a very nice elite. It's a good elite to start off with. And I'm looking forward to adding some more elites to my ranger and showing it to you guys. So anyways, uh, play with it. Again, I don't recommend it for heroes because I feel like they, they don't they cannot judge when to use it and when not to use it. So they can easily burn themselves out if they're blinded or something like that because they're just, just kind of stupid in doing that. But for a human player, I definitely recommend uh, trying it out and seeing if you can apply it to your build. So anyways, hope you guys like the video and I'll talk to you soon. Take care, guys. Bye bye.